Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and if you are new to the channel, welcome to the channel. I'm Lee, this is Miles and this is episode 7 in our winter series course management session, series, whatever you want to call it. Um, so if you've not watched the first six, go back onto my channel. There is six lessons that I've given Miles and it's all incorporating around ShotScope. So this has been kindly sponsored by ShotScope, this whole series. And we're using different aspects of Miles's data to better his golf. So Miles started off six, three months ago at... 18.1. 18.1. Three months in, how many rounds of golf have you played that you've put on CDA? Yeah, a fair few, not that many, probably three or four. So, right. um, but there's definitely been improvements. So what are you at now? 16.6. .6. So 16.6, .6, you've dropped a shot in three months, but you've only put a few rounds in. But if we look at your shot scope data, and I don't know why you're not putting these rounds in, Miles, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. Right, so if we look at your actual data, these are rounds you've played, and you're actually 13 over, 16, 14, 14, 14, 16, and 11. Well, that was a... That was the best round I've ever played, that one. Best round you've ever played, and a 15. So you've actually improved a lot, but you've yeah. not put the scores in on... Yeah, people, who, have, people who weren't playing with, people who weren't playing with the, the app, etc, etc. But what's interesting is if you look at it, it's just that block of um, rounds from what six nine months ago ten, yeah, yeah. ten months ago at 2021 20, yeah starting to drop out so as, as i drop these in it's starting to blow me quite a bit each time okay and what would you say was the biggest improvement you've had so far out of these three months so i think we we, we got a big big improvement very quickly out of the wedge matrix stuff that you got me doing yeah. um which just 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 cut a shot or two here or there in terms of um not not in terms of knowing what i'm trying to hit yeah, yeah. um and then you know since the last session we did a, a session on driver um and uh, i managed to put my ego away afterwards and stop trying to swing up my boots it takes a while to do that doesn't does, it does a little bit <laughs> particularly mine um it's particularly mine it's massive yeah. um <laughs> And so that, that was helpful. And actually, funnily enough, we spent a bit of time working on, on you know, getting a consistent shot shape. But actually, mm. after that, I've actually gone back to my old driver, which is more of a consistent straight to draw. Right, okay. And that's actually helped me a lot, just five, ten yards shorter than the one I was hitting when yeah, we did yeah. that session. As long as it's a but, consistent shape, it does, although that video was a fade, you normally when you go and play a game of golf, you'll go on the range first, or you'll if you've got it you'll and you'll see a shot shape that day and the yeah. trick is is to just trust that shot shape for that day someday it might be a fade someday it might be a draw someday it might be bombing it straight but play with what you got that day is what i will say and it was fitting as well right you said that to me a while back right? yeah that, that driver's 250 255 if i'm hitting it well on, on the fly the other one was 260 265 but much less controlled and I just wasn't yeah. getting it. So I think at each end of the bag we've had a lot of a lot of improvements and then the tempo session we did has yeah. also helped. That's been um, a big one but I think the, the, the chipping and the driver piece has sort of just brought some shots down at either end and now it's about honing in the rest. Yeah, anything to shout about? Any club comps or anything? You've... Yeah, so um, partner and I made it to the semi-final of the foursomes at my club which is good fun. Um, he's, he's a very good putter, I'm not. We'll probably come on to that later. That might be another lesson. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and the straight, the uh, hitting the driver a bit straighter has helped us a lot. So actually, yeah, between yeah. those two, that's really you know we're playing very well together. I had the uh, the round where I played to 11 over, which was um, the best the best full round I've played. And then last week I played to four over through 10 holes um, because I had to snuck out snuck out on a course and um, couldn't get a full 18 in, but managed to get through 10, and uh, that was better. So it, it's coming together slowly but surely. There are days when it, it clicks and it does really work. Excellent. And what this shows you is when you you have coaching or lessons it doesn't necessarily have to be really technical to have these short-term games like we've not really done anything technical in the swing we've just looked at wedge matrix how to score better maybe you know your tempo slowing it down and just striking the ball better but we've done nothing on grip we've done nothing on wrist angles or elbows or anything like that so there are easy wins that you can do when coaching it doesn't have to be super technical all the time now Miles will get to a point where he will like plateau basically and it's at that point that we would then go into more technical aspects of coaching in, with regards to like wrist angles and all that kind of stuff but at the minute it's getting him into quick gains to see improvement to want to 
play more and you know because if you play badly all the time it gets a bit demoralizing but every time you come away from these you're seeing an improvement well i think the thing that you said in the very first video that you asked me what i wanted and i gave the standard i want consistency yeah, answer yeah, yeah. but actually that's the whole thing if you think about what we've done with the wedge matrix it's yeah. about having some consistent yardages if you think about what we've done with tempo it's about getting rid of miss hits and those inconsistent 100%. shots yeah. if we, what we've done with the driver swinging a bit more within yourself knowing your shot shape you know again it's all the, that same stuff and it makes it more fun because you're not you know hunting in the in the weeds for the ball you know you're, you're still hunting in the weeds for the ball as well that, that's still happening. <laughs> that's still happening. That's right so today um we're halfway through so i think it's a good time to do a little bit of a course management lesson with the miles so we're here at dartmouth um a bit of a change from the last episode we were at ashbury so i've changed from ashbury i'm now the senior assistant professional here at dartmouth so we're going to start do six holes on the back nine and i'm going to try and manage Miles's game around and just give him little ideas of how he can maybe change shot shape or different shot choices or using his handicap better but Miles is off 16 so he's effectively got eight shots around this nine holes and out the six holes I think you've probably got a shot a hole um, so it's all about looking at your handicap using your handicap and taking the gains where there are gains and still coming in with a good score and not feeling like you've got to go out and shoot 10 under par because too many amateurs i was guilty of it you go out you try to par every hole and then you double bogey and you get a point here and a blob there if you can go round in 16 over par around this golf course you've got 36 points you've played to scratch in the courts with your handicap. I'm just looking at this. It's not a great starting hole. No, it's quite tight. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna start here on the 10th. I'm gonna let Miles go and choose what club he thinks he wants to use off this, and then I'll tell him what club he will use off this. <laughs> All right. I've got a driver with a dent in the end, Lee. A driver with a dent in here, that's always a good sign. Right, so this <laughs> hole, you've got a shot, stroke index seven. Yeah. It's a, actually a really, really tough hole. And I, it, this, this hole lives rent free in my head. Um, <laughs> There's a number of things we do, of course. Yeah, this, this, is, this is one of those holes that lives rent free in my head. So if we look down the hole, we've got a cliff on the left, which is actually out of bounds halfway up, and then it goes into a red stake. And then on the right is absolutely nothing. So it's a super tight hole yeah. that doesn't need a driver. This is a hole that you need to utilize your shot and stay in play. Yeah. But if you get a decent three, two, four iron down there, it will leave you 150 yards into a green and there's a chance of you getting par. You take that driver as your first shot of the day so I go put it back on a the, tight bag, hole, <laughs> you could be three off the tee very, very quickly. Yes, so uh, what, what, what club do you feel comfortable with that you're going to get on the middle of that fairway and get it down about 200 yards? So I carry a two iron now, um, when I, hopefully a reasonably forgiving to iron, okay. which we'll talk about later. Um, but that's the whole reason for carrying that is to just have a you know, couple hundred yard, 220 shot. Let's go get it. Let's see how we go. Go get it. Right, so what have we got, Miles? Two got iron. A new toy, but hopefully. Ooh, what is that? Is it no pro? Yeah, the new You are a magpie, aren't you? You yeah. are worse than me. If it's shiny, I buy it. Yeah, I know. It's not shiny, it's black. I know. Um, right. But the, there's a bit of it. There's a little gray bit there. Right, two iron then. Let's just get it in play. A couple of hundred yards down there. Uh, and give ourselves a decent shot in. Yeah, I love that flight, Miles. Lovely draw, left side of the fairway. And that goes back to that lesson where you know you draw that, or yeah. I assume you know you draw that, so you aim down the right side of that fairway to allow yeah. for that ball flight. And what that's done then is giving you 50 yards left to play with. Gives you nothing right, but you're yeah. confident in that Just shot Just off-centre for me. I, I can, you know, this one, if the bad shot with this one is a slight block, but it's not really a horrible slice. So yeah. it's that thing of if I'm sort of two thirds of the way across the fairway to the right. Yeah, that's perfect. Let's go and see where that right. finished. Ball, middle of the fairway. And if we look at your watch, so let's have a look at the watch. So this is the shot scope watch here. And that says it's 156 to the middle. 136 to the front and 173 to the back so that means you've got 37 yards of green to play with to land on bear in mind you're here for none yeah because you've got shot on this hole so we don't have to be i think the pin is probably if i look at it here I'll zoom in yeah front i think it's at the front ish so it's probably about 145 on yeah. But we don't need to be pin seeking to be, you know, if you if you get it near the pin and you make a birdie, fantastic. Yeah. You know what I mean? But we're now at a stage where in the middle of the fairway, this is an opportunity for par 
which is technically a birdie for you. So we want to be going for the middle of that green. And that's bang on seven iron distance for me. So one, 150 to 155 is seven iron. Okay, so if we hit a seven iron well, it's in the middle of the green. If, if, we, slightly, if we hit slightly don't get it, we maybe pin high and yeah. point for birdie. And if you flush it, you've got the back of the green, so you're still on it. So seven yeah. iron is the right choice here. Just a normal seven iron swing, remembering tempo and all those good things we spoke about. There's no wind, so let's just aim, the, the pin's in the center of that green, so just aim for the pin. Slightly downhill lie, very slightly, so the ball may move left to right, but then you've got a draw swing, so just aim straight at it. Just pushed it a bit. On that. I think bunker. we've got in the bunker, but you're there for one. Yeah. So no danger. Let's go and see what that is. Right club. Yeah. So I mean, like I'm five yards short. I've hit 150 there. Yeah. Well, 155. So we are pin high. We are in the bunker. Yep. We are pin high. So it goes back to you didn't quite catch it. If you'd have flushed it, the 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 pins there, you'd have probably been about here. But then you know there's a chance because the greens are quite receptive that it could have spun back. Yeah. If you come up short, you've got a little bit of landing zone here at the front. So it was the right choice of club. It's just poorly executed, yeah. but that's why you play off 16. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're not going to hit fairways and greens every and this time. this is about right, using the handicap. Don't need, don't need yeah. to be birdieing every hole. No. Right? Par, par's a birdie. Just so what, that way. what's the key now? What, what's the plan? Well, the first thing first, get out of the bunker. Yeah. Um, so I think from, from that perspective, just go into the middle, the, the, so the meat of the green. Well, the um, flag is in the middle of the yeah. meat of the green, so yeah. I'm happy for you to attack this pin. But the important thing is don't stay in the bunker. Yeah. Let's get it off out the bunker and in the green. So don't try and be cute with it, no, just but it. let's go at the pin because you've got that much. It is in the centre of the green. You ready? We haven't done a bunker lesson yet, so this will be interesting to see how you do bunkers. So it is wet, so it is quite compact. Nice, nice stone just behind me. So it is quite compact, so you do need to splash it, but do, you know, make sure you get behind the ball and let's get that ball out the out the bunker. Yeah, lovely. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, so it's just rolled off the green, but we're out the bunker, which is the important bit. Two putts now is a five, and that's two points. Right. So we got how far we got? Ten yard pot. Greens are wet. Yeah. And they're not. They're quite because in the winter they're quite long as well. So they do run quite slow, but they're not slow. Yeah. If you know what I mean. So where are you thinking? Uh, right. So where was it? Yeah. So probably about a foot, foot. To Foot to a half to the left. Yeah. Just trying to not trying to hold this. You're just trying to get yeah, not that I have the skill to hold this anyway. But just trying to get within sort of dustbin lid. You know, secure your in this case five. Yeah. And um, not trying to do anything too clever. Yeah, exactly. Like don't don't be trying to attack this. You've got two shots for it. Um, you know, the the chances of making this a slim for most yeah. people. These are the tall You know, the, the percentage you make on this. So it's. And I'll get my excuse in early, we haven't done any putting this morning, we've just got fair on the course, no. so first putt of the day, let's see how this goes. So make sure you line it up, trust your line, and the important bit is start line and pace on putting. And I, my shadow's all over your line. Those two things that I don't know how to do, those things, yes. You'll be fine. <laughs> trust the putt. Too hard, I didn't get my line. So yeah, that was poor start line. Yep. The, to be fair, it wasn't too hard. It's just because you were low, it yes. goes further. So criminal, criminal, leaving it low. Never leave it low. Right now, it's time to clutch up. No, <laughs> it's time to try and console it. So don't. Yeah. So so many amateurs. There's a nice bit of. We'll come up to this. You just mark it. Just mark it to the side. Just move it to the side a little bit. The problem is, it's a put, put ball there. I see so many people. They'll, they'll walk off and go, oh, bad pot, bad pot. And they'll just go, oh, never mind. They won't line it up. They won't look, check the line out or anything like that. They'll just they'll just beat themselves up and they'll call up and they'll just have a go. So the, inter the thing is now is to mark it. If you're with other people, step away. Yeah. Mark it, step away. Think, Do you know what? Bad pot, my bad. 
let's just make sure we make this. So, you know it's right to left because you've watched it come down the hill. Yeah. So you want to be aiming about here. Yeah, just outside right. Just outside right and a nice firm stroke. Firm and just not quite straight. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Two points. It's what we want. No danger. We yeah. went in the bunker, which wasn't ideal, but we've consolidated that shot. We've come out of the bunker, two potted. Let's walk on. 11th hole. Yep. 445 yard, par four, stroke index 13. In the summer, it's really gettable because yeah. obviously it's downhill to no the green. In the winter, goes. it's not. So in the summer, you could, in theory, hit that two iron shot. You'll get to the top of that hill and it'll run down to about 250, 260 and you'll, you'll be great. But this is a chance to possibly, you've got to think of this as a par five. It's yeah. a 450 yard par five and any less than that is a bonus. But we want to hit driver. This is perfect for your shot shape yeah. because all the rubbish is right. You can go left as far as you want. I don't suggest you do, but you can go left as far as you want. So I want you to aim for the right left edge of that bunker. Yeah. With that draw you've got, that will yeah. hopefully land in the fairway. It gives you a hundred yards left to play with. Okay. It doesn't give you much right, so you've got to trust your shot shape. Yeah. And if you can catch it at the top of that hill, it will then run down and you'll have 150 in. All right? All right. So trust your swing, trust that shot shape. Nice tempo. I love it. Yeah, that's really good. So that's just going to catch the left banks and it'll bounce. That will probably be in the fairway, but yeah. as an observation, you just lined up a little bit too straight. Okay. So you know that shot shape's there and that's why you've taken it left rough. Yeah. But it'll probably bounce in from there, but you've, you could have aimed a little bit Give more right. Give yourself more leeway and trusted more, the shot shape. Trust the shot shape and that's all it's about. If you block it or slice it, it's your fault for having a rubbish swing, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. Trust your shot so, shape. Surely having a rubbish swing is the fault of the coach, Lee. Yeah, that's true. Anyway, <laughs> let's go see where that is. Okay, Miles. We are on the side of a bank. Got a bit just goes, there. Well, unlucky oh, and well. your alignment. If you'd have trusted right. your shot shape, you'd have been on this fairway and you'd have caught the fast lane. Maybe not quite so fast in the winter, but you'd be in the middle of the fairway. But this is what we've got. It's yeah. in play. Um, and ultimately, you've got a shot here. So the ball is massively below your feet. So you have the chance here to proper... Banana slice bits. it out of bounds yeah. onto that right side so i would suggest you use your shot here yeah i was going to say that we said treat it like a bar five if this had been in the fairway yeah. go for it but it's not you've got 180 it. yards so yeah. we're talking five iron anyway yeah. five you know it's downhill so it could you could be pushing a six i think get an eight iron out yeah aim for that bunker that's just right at the green pop it down there pop it down there and then have yourself a little wedge matrix test Right, eight iron in hand, so you can see where the green is, that's yeah. your line. It will more than likely leak out to the right, so you yeah. want to sort really of aim at the green. Re aim at the green. If yeah. it goes straight, great. If it goes right, you should still be like in play. But if you aim any further right, you're going to put that hill into play. Three quarter swing on this, just yeah, to you keep just it under you control. just literally just want to keep on the control. You just want to be in play and give yourself like 75 yards in, really. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. In the bunker now. No, it's just short bunker. of the bunker. I think it's in the fair. Yeah, ideal. And then we can test that wedge matrix out now. Right, Miles, this has done really well. We've come just to the front of the green and we've got 45 yards if we look at your shot scope. So we've got 36 to the middle, 17 to the front, and basically 48 to the back and it's towards the back so I reckon it's about 45 yards to that pin so I want you to land this 40. Yeah. So with the wedge matrix what shot have we got and so what we hit hitting? this is my 56 yep. um, and slightly more than a quarter so a quarter is 35 to 40 yards so <laughs> that, this is a safer one for me I think than, than trying to play a, a lob wedge all the way up there which would be bang on the number I think that'll, if I hit it, duff it, hit it short I'm in the middle of the green and that's yeah. a better shot than going long or anything of that ilk. But like I said when we did the weight matrix this is now an opportunity for a par yeah. whereas if you'd have tried to attack that 
gone in the bunker, gone right down the right hand side. Oh yeah, but it's even not if I a put a full swing on the eight, I could have pushed that away right. Yeah. So now you've got an opportunity for par if you can hit a decent shot. So I want you to land this 40 yards. I want you to aim just right at that pin because it comes in from the right to the left. And you can see there's a ridge on that green. Try and get like, that in a little bit ridge here so you want to sort of land it just on the top of that and then it should feed down to the hole like you say if you duff it you're on the green we can two pot walk off and you've still got two points but i want you to attack this pin now i want you to be aggressive and try and get that par oh, i love that i love it stop dead and that's giving you eight foot for par yeah so that's just that little wedge matrix there you are you that's, put that's, yourself that's those shots it's taken off usually i'd have either been yeah. lots of times before that i'd have been on that back bank yeah or i'd have been here there's a definite two points there's a chance here for three points yeah. just by playing sensible right what are you reading into this so it's a reasonably straight putt it's slightly uphill just slightly it's going to come maybe a little bit right to left but yeah. not a lot so I'm sort of right edge, not not much more than that. I'd go just outside. I'd go half a cup outside right. Yeah. About here. Like I said, you get this. It's fantastic. Doesn't get it. You've still got two points. On what is a difficult hole? Without actually putting any danger into play at any point down here. Yeah. Get there. Oh. Just turned away at the end. Easy two points though. So you're, in theory, you're still level par with your handicap. Yeah. And it, but it's opportunities like that that you you may take. And if you get three of those in round, but you play sensibly, you're three under your handicap, yeah. and that's that how it That was a mystery. It broke at the end. It's my fault. <laughs> Twelfth hole, three seven six. Stroke yeah. index nine. So again, got a shot. And again, this is a very gettable hole because the yeah. wind's down. Normally the wind's into and it's a hard hole. If you're the type of person who loses it right, I would suggest- This one scares you. I would suggest you play a little bit more sensibly. Don't aim more left to bring it right because it just emphasizes the, the massive slice you'll do. But for you, those two bunkers on the right, yep. we need to aim for them, yep. draw it into the left. And because you've got them banks on the left, it's like extra protection. Yeah. In the summer, it will bounce off and roll back onto the fairway. If you're on them bunker on that mound, it's fine. If you're left of that mound, it's fine. But you don't want to go right. So just aim for them bunkers. Yeah. And let's have that nice draw shot again. Uh, bunker on each side. No, I think it's just short of the bunkers. But what happened with that? is you gave it, like you pulled it. Yeah. But you've actually only missed a fairway by like five yards. Yeah. By eight, by trusting your shot shape. You know, you've, you're you not gonna hit a perfect drive every time, but you're still in play. Oh, well, granted, you got a long shot in, but you've got a shot here. Yeah. You know, if you'd have aimed down the center of the fairway and done that shot, yeah. then you're on the banks and it's a world of pain that, actually, if, as long as it's not gone in the bunker, which I don't think it has, it's, it's not a bad shot. For that was also a good lesson for just swing within yourself a bit. That happened because I tried to I think you tried a nice to... welcoming fairway and tried to mull around. Yeah, yeah. It's just, if you'd have done what you did on the last fairway, you'd have still been 250 down there. Yeah. Right, how far we got? So we just, We've we got were just short of the bunker. 190 to the middle, 209 to the back. Slightly uphill, so it's going to play a bit longer. Okay. What would you do here? So usually, it's not a bad lie. It's sort of sitting up a little bit. I quite like this hybrid. Um, albeit your video has made me go and get fitted and I'm having one replaced, but to what? Now, to, to a G425. Yes. Oh, he's called it. I, I, I did admit it on the comments. Anyway, so um, no, usually I'd take hybrid here. So this is a sort of 200 yard club for me. You know, if I hit it well, if it comes off a bit short, it'll be 180, 190, which feels about right. Yeah. If it was a crappy lie, maybe I shouldn't, and I probably would still take it on. Yeah. But after the last last hole, lay it up with an A time would be the alternative. Right. Let's, let me tell you what I think. So when we did a test with that and the yeah. G425, it was all over the place. Yeah. The problem with being all over the place here is right is dead. Yeah. You can hook it all day, yeah. but right is dead. So me, I think you should do what we did on the last hole. Use your shot. You're not in, a, you're not in great position. It's on an uphill lie. Yeah. 
you know it's very easy for that hybrid to go wrong but it's a lot easier for the eight iron to not go wrong yeah so i'd hit an eight iron give yourself right. 50 yards in do that chip shot again and give yourself a chance at a par. So we're going to call it Lee Whitaker Boring Golf from now on, are we? We are calling it, we are calling it <laughs> Laying Up Golf. If you'd have been on the fairway, I'd have said fine. Nah, I'm kidding. But I know what, I've seen you hit that hybrid, and you're yeah, right, you could pull off a worldie, but you could also be dropping back there in a minute for five, for four even. So a nice eight iron, straight down the middle, and then let's give ourselves another chance at a par. Spot, like it's just perfectly in the middle. Let me zoom in. There it is, in the middle of the fairway. Right, you got another ball. Just hit that hybrid for me. All right, just for 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 the giggles, let's hit that hybrid. You're either going to prove me wrong here, or I'm going to prove you right. Prove you wrong. And that's gone over there. Yeah. So you're actually further away. In the rough. In the rough on a bank. Yep. That's why we play safe with our shots. Leeward took a boring golf. That's what it is. <laughs> shot scope, how far we got? We have 73 yards to the middle. 54, 52, it's just updated. 72, 52, 90. Right, we need to hit a 70 yard shot. Dead aim at that pin. So you got your 46, yep. so this will come in a little bit low because there's a slight breeze into off the left. Yep. So we don't want to get it too high and let it balloon up a little bit. So just a nice 46 in at that pin. Love it. If that's the right club, that is all over the pin. Love a wait to matrix me. Oh, I'll stop it, Lee. Stop it. <laughs> Right, so we got Miles to actually hit that other hybrid in and he did make the green back there but it was not the greatest lie but to be fair he could two put that and probably still make his five but this one from the fairways here again it's probably about 10 to 12 feet it is downhill so it's a pretty quick putt but it gives him more of a chance of making a par and getting off here with three points where's he gone? there he is So, one pot for three points, two pots for two points, and yep. we are level par through this video, basically, in the course of your handicap, and you have not been in trouble once. Yeah. All right, let's try and make this one. So, not what I said then. Not what you said. <laughs> Although I got it wrong on the last green, so. Oh, trust the coach. Trust the coach. So, where are we lined up there? Uh, right, trust me that. Yeah. So where do you think that's lined up? Don't look at it, because you just mark you've just just on it. to the left of the hole. Okay. You are right edge of that hole. All right. So what's worth doing, yep. and we'll do this in a putting lesson, is when you've marked it, keep your marker down and just get down and put your straight edge it there and put it on that line and just look up. And that is just like that is lined up just right of that. And it was meant to be the opposite on the other side. And you want it to be about left edge of that hole. So just get down and just put it on that line and just with your dominant eye, just see if it's lined up. Better. Yeah, it takes two seconds to do. Yeah. Only and a then, cut difference, but all of the difference. Yeah. But then, and then all it is is trust in that line. So pick a spot, we'll do this in the putting lesson. So let's flatten that down. So this is your line. Yeah. So all you want to do is make sure it rolls over that spot there. Yeah. That's obviously make sure it goes faster. <laughs> but that's where you so yeah. you look at it, make sure it goes over that spot, and then at least you've started it on the right line, and then it's all down to pace then. Left to right, left to right. Oh. But there's an easy yeah. five or I'd an easy part. It would have gone in me. It would have been yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It would probably would have missed right. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we've had five, three fives, 
on these par fours, yeah. but you've had a shot on each one, so you've and had a good chance at a, at a par on each one. Uh, well, the well, last two, the last two. You know, you've had really good chances at par, so that could be worst case. Now is your six points through three holes. Yeah. Your first three holes, you've started your round well, yeah. still warming up technically. Best case, you could be two under par your handicap just by laying off. I know it sounds silly, but you know you've got them shots. Yeah. Use them. It's it's different if you didn't have shots. Yeah. And I think you have to be a bit more attacking. Yeah. Um, yeah, we came straight out here and played. We didn't have a warm up or whatever. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, it, and there will be times where you're late for a round or whatever. You know, just playing within yourself, yeah. not trying to hit the cover off the ball or the rest of it. Yeah. You know, the one time I did, almost in the bunker on the side of the fairway, got but away you, with it because we were consolidated aimed, then. Because you then think, well, I've hit a bad tee shot. I've now got to consolidate this hole. So you lay up, you yeah. chipped on to. You know, this wedge matrix is working pretty really well. well for the last two holes. You've had really good chances at pars. Worst case, you've had tapping pars in the course yeah. of your handicap. You're not struggling for points. Yeah. If you can get through that six holes with 12 points, you can then start maybe Pushing attacking on. a little bit more yeah. as you warm up. But yeah, fantastic so far. So what that's done is it's just given Miles a few more ideas about using his handicap to his benefit. As Obviously, as the handicap comes lower, those opportunities become less and less and you then yeah. have to start attacking those ones that you don't have shots on and if you you know if this wasn't a shot hole and you pulled that yeah go for a hybrid Let, you know you've got to try and at least yeah. par it but then it depends how you've got on so far if you'd have if you've got like three shots in hand because you've parred ones with shots consolidate the hole it's all it's about managing yourself isn't it it's managing yeah. where you are it's not just the course it's yeah. managing where you are in your round how yeah. you're playing how you're feeling how you feel mentally yeah. you know if you're having a bad day it's so easy to just lose your head and yeah. suddenly can lose the whole game. Whereas if you'd have started off blob, blob, two points, you'd be walking up here now going, right, well, I've got to make that up. You've got 16 shots, that's two pars or yeah. three pars, and you've, you're back onto, onto level scoring. So it's all about managing your game, managing how you are that day, and using your shots. And worst case scenario, if we, plots, if we did all 18 holes like this, and he just plotted his way around. He'd walk in with 36 points, and it's been an easy 36 points. Yeah. Sometimes you can come in with 36 and go, God, I earned that. Yeah. You've had six points through three holes, and it's been easy. I think it, the, the one for me is just those two eight irons but on the last two holes. Yeah, yeah. Just stepped up, nice, easy. I could have mishit them a lot more than I did and still been in broadly the same place. Yeah, yeah. Don't be ashamed or don't be afraid to lay up. I know people will band the gun, oh, don't lay up round here. At the end of the day, if you're in competition, it's about points. It's about that scorecard. It doesn't matter how you get there. It's about that scorecard. So hopefully Miles can take that away now um, and work on like course management and just working within himself and maybe lower those scores a little bit more. We do have to work on potting, which will be the next lesson because alignment and things like that. But we've got um, Visio pot now, so we will be doing some sort of alignment and aiming with Visio pot and start line and things like that. But I think so far, Really impressed with how Miles is getting on. He's definitely going away and practicing the things he's taught. That wedge matrix, you can see from those two shots, the last two shots, is working fantastic for Miles. Um, and it gives him the ability to do that layup shot yeah. because you can trust you're going to more or less get within at least a pot for par, but it's an easy two pot. Whereas if you're attacking it and you're up here in the bush and you've got to chip down, you're just adding danger to it. So the wedge matrix working fine. Your swing is a lot better now the tempo's slowed down a bit or it's a lot more controlled tempo so far i'm really impressed we are seven episodes into this 12 episode series you said you'd try and get down to 12 or you think yeah. 12. you've got five more episodes yeah. to drop for well five I think, shots i think the, the good thing at this point sort of halfway is i have had a round at that level yeah i've had, had 11 over par um, the rounds are coming down mm -hmm. um, and I think the other thing is you know this has been in the quiet period where there's not been much competition yeah, golf yeah, 100%. you know so not that many opportunities to, to put cards in as we yeah. saw when we looked at the, the stats so you know cut a shot and a half off I'm pretty pleased with that for you know through the deepest darkest bit of winter and as we get into the spring hopefully some more opportunities will come. Yeah and that's the thing to realize is if you're playing off winter mats and they're more than 10 yards from the marker you can't actually put a scorecard yeah. in because it's not measured from that point so there's not always opportunities to put cards in in the winter, but you can see by shot scope data that we showed at the beginning that there are 14, 11s, that the, the average is coming down. Yeah. And I think as soon as we can start putting cards in, it will Knock out a few down. 19s and 20s from the, from the schools and exactly. hopefully it'll get some big moves. 100%. 100%.
Right, if you've liked that video, please do drop a like down below. Comment down below, how do you think Mars is getting on? Do you see some improvement in him from when we were three months ago when we first started this? If you are new to the channel, please do hit that subscribe button down below. Completely free to do. Also, a massive thank you to ShotScope who are sponsoring this series. Um, they are helping us out. Obviously, we're using the ShotScope data and we're using their data to show how you can watch and look at their data that you have if you are a ShotScope user and focus your practice in on that data and if you're not a ShotScope data user yet or you don't use it there's a link in the description to take you to the website to go and get yourself one I highly recommend it not just because they're sponsoring it because the data is fantastic and really good for me really and good. really good for Mars anyway we'll see you all soon uh, and we'll see you on the next video in a few weeks time see you later